Man, in today's video, man, I want to highlight the transparency that Megan Good showed while being on the interview uh, hosted by Shannon Sharp Club Shay Shay. Let's talk about it. Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at an In Them Trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, Megan Good recently went on to Shannon Sharp's club Shay Shay and they talked about a gamut of things. And one of the things Shannon Sharp asked her about was her divorce. And that was a very good moment of transparency for Megan Good because rarely do we see that soon out of a divorce, that level of transparency and honesty. And Megan Good said some things that men and women need to understand. You know, Megan Good stated in there that when she found out that her husband wanted a divorce, she was livid, she was mad. She further goes on to say that I understand why he did it. She goes on to further say, I even think it was brave of him to divorce me. Think about that. Man, you oftentimes, due to the rebellion of women, the man is always made to be the blame. It was the man's fault. It was the man's fault. That's the reason why. I can't believe I don't know why he left me, why he divorced me. Megan Good said some things in there uh, that should resonate with people that are truth seekers in the fact that she said, I don't know if I could have done anything to fix it. She said, I probably couldn't have. And if you don't know, man, Devin Franklin, Megan Good's ex-husband is a pastor. And man, I've, I've done videos, you know, talking about how Megan Good carries herself and how you're not going to be up under a man of that caliber uh, and conduct yourself like she conducts herself. You can even look at uh, how she's dressed on Club Shay Shay. You cannot be with a man of the cloth uh, that, you know, would be counted as righteous to the world and conduct yourself like that. And that's partially, even when they were married, uh, there was so many so many different scenarios of where she was constantly asked like how are you conducting yourself like this while you're with a man uh that is a servant to the most high how are you conducting yourself like this and a lot of people don't realize i've even had to say this in my own house like as my wife you are a reflection of my leadership you know but she said something that a lot of women need to take to heart because I'll tell you, I hope no man ever has to put away a woman because it is truly uh, an act of bravery because you will get shamed. Uh, you know, they will throw everything that the family court has already given them in the advantage. You know, they'll throw all of that at you. And a lot of these women know that they must be put away. Megan Good called her ex-husband brave for putting her away. It took balls. See, you know, that was a very, very transparent moment that, man, I'd be surprised if you lined all of the women that were divorced up, whether no matter who filed for it, the woman or the man, 
you know, that might be a 1% chance that you're gonna get that level of transparency that she showed uh, on that interview. She could have she could have took the normal route uh, of saying he was no good, he was this and he was that. But something in her said, you know what, let me tell the truth. And she even stated that they didn't represent the same thing. And I want to hone you in on the word. The word says, man, a woman's desire is supposed to be towards her husband. A wife is supposed to submit in everything as to the Lord. The problem is when a man is dealing with a woman that he loves through action, love being an action word, not a feeling and emotion. When a man loves a woman through action and has to tolerate the disobedience, there comes a point where you say, you know what, man, I love this woman through action. My actions show that I love this woman. But the conduct of this woman, I cannot stand for. I cannot tolerate. You gotta think, do you not think that her ex-husband uh, tried to guide her and tell her how to correct the deficiencies? But some women flat out aren't willing to change to the likeness of their husband. And for that cause, you know, when a man finds some uncleanliness in you, a man's first biblical responsibility is supposed to be to wash you with the word, to try to use that word uh, to help get you right, to try to counsel you. But the word says when a man finds some uncleanliness uh, in his wife, that he can lawfully put her away, lawfully put her away. Uh, you know, write her a bill of divorce, put it in her hand, and send her packing on her way. And Megan Good acknowledges that she was mad. She was upset. She was angry. Once she processed, she realized, man, she had to be put away. She had to be. She was no good uh, for his purpose. Man, I don't think people realize how rare that level of transparency is in a woman that's rebellious against her husband. You got to think, man, there's times where Megan Good has been dead in the wrong of being a direct reflection of her husband and how she choose to uh, present herself as a married woman. And you know what her husband did? He stuck up for her and defended off the people that were saying the stuff that he already knew behind the scenes he was addressing. So it, 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 it it's probably like a good, I wanna say that's probably about two years ago that Megan Good was called out for her conduct by another woman and how can she be sitting uh, with a man of the most high and conduct herself in all of these harlot ways, uh, portraying her way to be some sexual symbol when that's anti-Bible. And her husband uh, stood up for her. He said, man, you ain't gonna attack my wife. But how many men have to defend uh, the misconduct of their woman so their woman feels like they're protected, but the men end up, through protecting the rebellion of their woman, they end up going against the will of Yah. You gotta think, man, uh, uh, and I'm just using this as an example. Imagine if Messiah, Yahushua HaMashiach, was married. And this is probably a good thing that he wasn't, you know, or Paul wasn't. Imagine Paul, or imagine Yahushua HaMashiach, uh, married to somebody like Megan Thee Stallion, married to somebody like Summer Walker, married to somebody like Beyonce. Do you know how much, how conflicted uh, you would be emotionally as a man and spiritually. Spiritually, you need to handle it a certain way, but you're trying to show mercy towards them. Emotionally, uh, you like, man, I, I hate, I hate addressing these issues. This is a woman that, man, I walk the example and all you got to do is fall in line and follow. Megan Good couldn't do that. Then we see 
you know, just the, uh, the, the, the reality of what she, I'm telling you, man, you give it a little bit, that's a woman that's going to regret not making the changes of that her husband requested in order to save her marriage. She even says in there, man, my worst fear was to end up like my mother and for my husband to leave me. Megan Good acknowledges the fact that her husband put her away and had just cause to do so. We don't get that. So I get I give Megan Good, uh, I give her her props for just being honest uh, and transparent in a daytime and hour where that's extremely hard to get out of women. She acknowledges the, the, the emotions and the feelings that she had when she first found out she talks about letting them feelings uh, settle down and her processing. And when she, when they did process, she said, you know what, man, uh, my ex-husband, Devin, was brave. It was an act of bravery. You don't hear that. Like 99% of the time, it was the man's fault. All of a sudden, he was a bad father, a bad husband. And you got to look, man. The fruit doesn't lie. A bad tree is not going to produce good fruit. A good tree is not going to produce bad fruit. And the word says, do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. And I think when you look at that marriage, Megan Good is not, you got to look, she, she ran with Jonathan Majors when he got caught up. That'll probably be the only opportunity in life that she will have uh, to experience a messenger or a man that tried to wash her with the word for her soul salvation sake. Man, people don't realize that uh, the husband is the savior of the body. A woman's salvation is tied to the obedience of her husband. And uh, we haven't heard too much from Devin Franklin and most men, when they go through a divorce and all of that shame and persecution comes and they're righteously, rightfully so putting their woman away because they found some uncleanliness in her, most men just take it on the chin. Take it on the chin and let the dust settle and, and, and drive on. But uh, I, I tell you, man, I haven't seen uh, another woman like Megan Good be that transparent and the, the, the mass is knowing that her husband divorced her. You know, man, I hope, I hope, you know, her husband truly finds what can help him out on his journey uh, of ministry. And I hope Megan Good continues to process everything because I don't even think she fathoms what she said in this interview and the recognition of her own rebellion and knowing that my husband, my ex-husband told me what I needed to do, but this flesh didn't want to change. I hope that continues to process so she can find it one day. And there is a, there is a, there is no gray area. And this man was conflicted because how can you be a man of the cloth, a man of the most high, but your wife be a sex symbol, not by the roles that she takes, not only by how she conducts herself, how she chooses to dress. This is a, a Megan Good, man, she, you know, there's something in her that she needs deliverance out of. She chose to go on this interview and she did it the, the, throughout the course of her being married. Chose to go on this interview and, and, and show her breast and show all of this and what you realize is oftentimes as men, uh, you can be attracted by the flesh and that's not gonna allow you to prosper if deliverance doesn't occur. I don't doubt that Devin Franklin was highly physically attracted to Megan Good, but that's a fleshly attraction. And when you are fleshly attracted to somebody, there is no discernment in that because you are relying on the flesh to tell you how uh, to go about entering into uh, a relationship that you might, the most high y'all probably wouldn't have you in or might uh, not have you in, you know? So that's why the word says, 
uh, test the spirit. So there's a lot of a lot of nuggets uh, to expound upon based upon her, her her interview with Shannon Sharp. And I just I honestly I admired even though I didn't want to see her up there uh, showing her breasts and I don't care to see none of that. I still admire the transparency level that she showed in there being a divorced woman uh, and taking uh, accountability for the fact that she could have played the victim. But she chose not to. That's rare. Close to the Yah Ministries kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Wow.